So here's an issue I want to address. Some, what we've got here is we've got an alignment and a profile that we brought in from one of our legacy databases. Now in this case it came in from a GPK but you could have the same situation uh, bringing in a profile from an ALG or an FIL. Now what happens here is you can see uh, the uh, alignment comes in fine and it's ruled but if I zoom in here on the profile you'll notice that if I select it it, it highlights but I get none of the uh, element handlers to make edits. Um, now in this first release there is an issue that sometimes because of the profile configuration in the legacy database you'll run across this situation and it is a what it's not a bug uh, we specifically block the rules because of, of specific profile situations now this will be addressed in a future release but for now in this initial release this is a situation we have. So in this case, there is a way to uh, to rule the um, the profile. So I'll show you how to do this. So I'm just going to expand this view. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to remove the feature uh, from the profile. So I'll just come up here and set this. I'm sorry, set this to no feature definition. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to MicroStation and I'm going to select the MicroStation drop command. I'll enable both complex and line strings. and We'll identify that and we will drop it. And so you can see now um, that if I come in here that I've actually dropped this into its individual elements. All right. Now the third step we want to do is I'm going to select all of those elements just with a MicroStation selection set. I'm going to come over to the vertical geometry and I'm going to do a create civil rule feature and you'll notice it says data point to create a civil feature from the 60 selected elements so I'm just going to hit a, a data point and then we'll zoom in here and you'll notice now the individual pieces are, are ruled okay so the last thing I want to do is I'll just zoom down here to the, to the middle I'm going to come back in here and I want to do a profile complex from elements. Uh, I'm going to make sure I've got my method set to automatic. And so I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to select the first piece. I'm going to let it connect all the, all the subsequent pieces. And I'm going to do a select complex. Now you'll notice you've got a complex ruled uh, profile. And of course the last thing we could do with this is come back to our properties and we come back into our profile and we add our feature uh, back to it. And so again, just a, now you can see we've got a way here uh, to rule a profile if that situation occurs.